Hello everybody and um, today's workout is going to be something that's a little bit more in intermediate and um, a little bit more that advanced than your basics so if you're ready to step it up um, this will be your workout this is going to be a combination of a lot of different things I know and a lot of different workouts I just really like and what I'll do is <clears throat> well I'll what, whichever workouts we're going to do, like things we're going to do certain sets of, I'll just let you know the number because, I mean, I have a lot in mind. I may not do everything I have on my list. And it's just some things you don't want to do as many reps as you want to do, you know, other things, legs versus arms and things like that. But this is going to be a total body workout, intermediate level, and I really hope you enjoy it. Um, hopefully the music in the back isn't overpowering and isn't sounding all weird and warbly. I don't have the best camera because I'm using um, uh, Windows Movie Player Live or whatever it's called. That's what I'm using. It's not the most fantastic, but it's getting the job done. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a warm-up. Everything's warmed up. Hopefully I don't move too much where you can't see me. But we're just going to kind of get a nice little jog going. We'll warm up our heart, we'll warm up our body and get our heart rate up. That way we can do a little bit of some warm up stretches and then we'll get into our workout. And what we'll do is do things that'll kind of get our heart rate up and then we'll move on to things that kick it up a, a whole new level and then we'll kind of ease back down and go back up. That's the best way to burn the most calories. So there's jog with me, keep going, pick up that pace. You would make sure you're getting those knees up. Oh, all right. All right. So you can go ahead and stop. Got your heart rate nice and up. And what we're going to do is stretch. I also have a chair right here. You may want to get a chair. Um, you can do some of the work that I'm going to do without a chair. Or you can keep a chair for a little bit more assistance until you're really good at these things. But what I'm going to do is... Go down in a stretch like this, and you bring your hands to the ground. If you can't bring your hands to the ground, just try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Go low into it. Keep your hands on your knees or right at your ankles. That's really the goal. Hold on, give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so hopefully you're still stretching it out. Yeah, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into a lunge and go into one side and we're going to hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, go ahead and bring it back up. Okay, we're going to do some... Um, Knee raise, and you're just going to tuck it and hold as long as you can. If you don't have very good balance, take your chair, sit it beside you. Go ahead and bring in that knee and hold it with one hand. And just keep it up there, stretching the back of your hamstrings. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this way. Bring my knee up, get the other side. Just hold it, and then release nice and slowly. Got to move this chair out of the way. If you do have a chair, a really good workout, well not a workout, a really good stretch you can do post-workout is you can put your leg up on your chair and with this arm on this side, bend down and touch your chair. And you're going to feel a good, good stretch right here on the inside of your thigh. And you go ahead and you can do the other side. You know, the more intensity you want it, the more you want to lean in. And that's it for that stretch. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. You may want to do that as well if you moved your scored. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to reach this way. Bring it down. And raise the other way. Go ahead and bend your knees when you do this stretch. Don't rest too much on your body. But you can if you want. If you need that little bit of help. All right. So... We're gonna go ahead and begin our cardio workout. Let's go ahead and start it for the jog again. Just warm things back up if we hold off a little too much. All right, 
Now what I'm going to have us do is a jab punch for our first move. We're going to hear weird noises. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to have us do is um, uh, two sets of 20 on each side. Now what a jab punch is, you're going to kind of face, face forward, bend on your knees so you get in good position. Put your fist up. You never want to punch with your hands like this. You always want to keep yourself guarded. Like if you, you know, just putting you're in a real boxing ring, that's what the first, that's the most important thing you need to do. Always keep your guard. And when you throw a punch, you don't want to be throwing loosely. You don't want to have that elbow up thrown. You want to do a nice forward and back. You know, pretend your hand is sliding along a bar. Just perfectly straight right back to the chin. So when you throw a punch, also too, you don't want to go, you don't want to fully extend. You can cause a lot of, um, you can actually pull your delt, you can hurt your bicep, you can pull stuff in your forearm and cause a lot of uh, joint problems in your shoulder. So when you're throwing a punch, you're going to kind of keep your arm bent still. That's fully extended. So when you do it, and a jab, very quick motions. Turn your hips when you're into it. See how my foot's kind of kicking out to the side? That's what you want to do, twist the hips. It's going to elongate your obliques, and that's very good for the waist. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go on our first set of 20, then we'll switch it up to your right side, go back to the left, then go back to the right. If you're starting with your right, just follow along and switch sides when I switch. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Make sure you're keeping those knees bent. Don't fully extend either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Other side. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, go ahead and cool off. Make sure you're keeping your body in motion. Be walking in place. If you're a little bit more advanced than that, you can kind of keep yourself jogging. You just want to keep your body in motion. You don't want to let your heart rate drop. Go, go ahead. You're going to get my way, mister. All right. All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to do a jab and a cross. A jab and a cross is this. Jab, cross. You're going to totally cross your body with it. So your beginning pose is going to be this. Jab. Twist those hips. Bring them forward. Cross. Remember, when you're fully extending on this, okay, say I'm going this way. And then you're going to cross. Notice I'm not all the way completely extended. I still have a little bit of bend in my elbow. You want to do it just like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go jab, cross. Well, three claps. We're going to go jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. So you ready for that? Go ahead and start on whatever side you want. All right. Let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I got way off there, didn't I? <laughs> Let's go ahead and start at eight. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20. Getting way off. Okay, go ahead and stop. Keep your body in motion. 
We're going to go ahead and go to the other side. Do 20 on that side. All right. Go ahead and get running good here. Okay. So let's go ahead and go. I'll try to keep myself on track this time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Jab, cross. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. All right, go ahead and stop. Make sure you're keeping your body in motion. If the intensity is a little too much for you, just walk in place. When you find you're doing something that's so intense that you have to just like stop for a moment, just walk in place, get yourself a drink of water, and then come back to the workout. Okay. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna do a roundhouse kick. This is what you may need a chair for. I'll go ahead and show the modified version of it with a chair. Well, I'm going to put this way. I got so much stuff in the way in here. I really need to clean up stuff. Give myself a little more space. Okay. So there's my chair. I'm going to do a roundhouse kick. You have the chair to stabilize yourself. And you're going to kick out. You don't want to be just loosely kicking. When you kick, make sure you're, you're guiding it. Don't fully extend either. So that's all you want to do. If you want to take it down a little bit lower, don't keep this leg straight when you're kicking. Keep it bent and out. What we're going to do is we're going to do 20 of those. So go ahead. If you need the chair, use the chair. If you're not going to use the chair, what you're going to do, keep that bent. Lean over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, woo, <laughs> twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. <sighs> Go ahead and breathe. It's really good for the sides of your legs. If you got saddlebags, so that'll take care of that. And at the same time, you're working your quads and you're working your hamstrings and you're, you're working that butt. All right. We're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to the other side. And if you're, you know, you're afraid you're not going to be facing it to see if that helps you, go ahead and move your chair and use it however you want to use it. Just make sure you're keeping that knee bent. You don't want to keep it straight. Then you're making your back do all the work and hurt your back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move back. We're going to go into this. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Don't want to lean over too far. 17, 18, 19, 20. You got through that great job. I'm sure you're feeling burn in your legs, especially those quads. But that's a good thing. You're burning calories. All right, so let's go ahead and keep moving. Now, what I'm going to have us do now is we're going to do a forward kick and a back kick. We're going to go ahead and do 10 slow, and then we'll do 10 quick. So, front kick and then back kick. Now, when you're kicking back, you don't want to be letting yourself do this. Okay, it throws off your balance when you're torquing to the side. You want to go forward and back. When you kick forward, use those toes. Bring up that knee before you bring up your toes. You don't want to be doing this business. Lean into it when you're going back to protect that back. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with 10. We're going to do 10 nicely paced and then we'll pick up that pace in the next set. And then we're going to switch sides to what legs kick in front and back. Go on, mister. All right. We'll go ahead and move this out of the way. So I'm in. All right. So here we go. 
I'm going to go ahead and start with my left. Start with at whatever side you feel comfortable with. Alright. So what we're going to do front kick, back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got that? Let's go ahead and switch sides. I'll be going to my right. So if you started with your left, you'll be going to your right too. Let's go ahead. Be good stance. And you think about it too. This is just a little bit of information. Sorry, I'm taking the time to explain it. But, you know, say if you you were really in a, in a boxing fight and, you know, you're going to kick in kickboxing, you wouldn't want to be straight leg kicking because someone can immediately just push you over. You're very vulnerable right there. And you're using a lot of your back, and that's why. I mean, you can just tip over. That also makes your lose your balance a lot easier when you're doing the workout. So just try to keep those knees bent. Okay, so here we go on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, did that good job. Okay, now what we're gonna do is pick up that pace. So, I'm going to start with my left again, and we go ahead and do 10. So, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, good job. Make sure you're still walking in place. Keep your heart rate up. All right. All right, the next thing I'm gonna have us do is we're gonna do squats. So that should be fun. Well, what I'm gonna have us do is do a squat kick. So you're gonna go step, kick, squat, step, kick, other side. All right, so you ready for that? We're going to do two sets of 20. We'll have a little bit of break in between the 20. Make sure you're keeping your body moving between pauses. You need to take a break. Go take a break. Get you some water. All right, let's go ahead and go. We're going to go into our squat. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. I almost went into kicking. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. The next set, we're going to try to pick up that pace just a little bit. So go ahead and keep your body moving. I've got to keep reminding myself too, so don't feel bad if you're like, oh. You hear me and you're like, oh, yeah, keep moving. And forget to at times. Feels a lot better on the body to sit idle in the moment, but not long term. Let's keep going. And we're going to go into our next set. Alright, so you guys ready? I'm going to try to do my best not to get all confused. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go into our squat. Once we get in, we are going to speed this thing out. I like to start off this way. Helps me keep it back. Remember, when you're doing a squat, seat your butt against the wall. You never want to let your back like this because you're going to hurt your back. Your back's having to stabilize your entire torso. When you're like this, Good, good spinal alignment. Protect, protect that back. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Here we go. The back. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20. Good job, guys. I know I kind of changed it up there, but you're still getting that squat in. Same concept. Just for speeding it up and taking out that little bit of pause when we go back down. That got a heart rate up really good. Whew. And then sometimes when it gets hard, and you're just like, oh, I just don't want to do this anymore. This is too difficult. You got to fight that. If you don't learn to fight that, you're never going to beat everything that's holding you back. You got weight on you, want to get rid of it, you got to learn to push past those barriers. All right. Woo. Now what we're going to do next, this is going to be for the triceps. We'll give our legs a little bit of a break. You're going to turn on your side. And put those feet together. And you're going to be bent. Make sure you're staying up. Keep that back flat. What we're going to do, bring up those elbows, make a fist. We're going to do 20 slow, and then we're going to do 20 quick. And it's a hammer fist. So be letting the back of your hand right here hit like a hammer. Don't let your arms be moving. Keep those arms flat like you're on a hinge and just go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to be squeezing that tricep. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And also keeping your head up. That's going to help you out too because you're not letting all the blood flow to your head making you lightheaded and depriving the rest of your body of oxygen. I'm going to keep that elbow up high. So we're going to go into our speed set. Go up to 20. So go ahead, if you were taking a moment to kind of stand up and relax, go ahead and do that for a second. We're going to get back in position. Get a good stance. Hold your back right. Put those elbows up high. Remember hinge. Now let up here move. That's how we're going to build up the firmness in our triceps. So let's go ahead and go for it. We're going to go quick on this. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Go ahead and walk in place. See, that wasn't too bad, but I bet you could feel the backs of your arms burning, and that's a good thing. Good thing. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and go into a squat. We're going to work the abs. It'll be really good for those abs. All right. Woo. All right. So go ahead and go into your squat. Here's what I want you to do. You can clasp them. You can put them this way. Don't relax them against your body. And don't let yourself droop. Keep your back nice and straight. Sit down. So you're working that butt. Your quads nice and firm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to torque. We're going to go this way and this way. Keep those hips solid and facing this direction, facing this way. And let your shoulders turn and do all the work. You're going to be pulling those abs, working those abs real nice. And trust me, this really, really, really helps your abs. So let's go ahead and go. We're going to go up to 20. We're going to do two sets of that. The first set, we're going to do a little bit slow. And then the next set, we're going to speed up. So let's go ahead and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Relax for a second. Walk in place. Keep that heart rate up. All right. Let's go ahead. Get in your squat. Make sure you're keeping that butt seated. Hips facing forward. Let the shoulders carry you. Let's go ahead and go. We're going to go quick this time. And what you should be doing when you're counting, you're going to be able to hear yourself using those abs because you're going to feel your breath being pushed out because of the abdominal work you're doing. So let's go ahead and go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. But you definitely feel it in your abs. We'll build up those abs really nice. All right. Okay. One last thing I'm going to have us do. You're going to 
Most likely you want to get a chair. I'm just going to help you out. Let me move this a little bit more over here. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to bend down at the knees. Put those hands together, make a triangle. Get your knee as close as you can to the chair. You can have it a couple inches away, that's fine. Hold on to the chair however you will, but don't be letting your body lean too forward. What we're going to do is barely touch our toe here and go back. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then here's where we're gonna pick up the pace and we're gonna go gonna go for a full twenty on each side. Don't be letting your extensions go all crazy. Don't be going out. You want to be kicking right back. That way you're keeping this muscle nice and tight. And eventually, all that fat back there, if you got some, it's going to get rid of it for you. This is a really great workout for, for the thighs. So let's go ahead and go. Make sure you're keeping your back slightly arched. Protecting the back. Letting the leg do all the work. You're going to feel a lot of it in your butt. So let's go ahead and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. All right, let's go ahead and do one more leg workout. This won't be too long. Go ahead and keep your chair where it's at. What we're gonna do is you're gonna step one leg up here. All right, you're gonna step one leg up here and lift. You go back down. Lift, switch, lift. All right, you got that? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to 40 with these so you get 20 on each side. So whatever leg you wanna do first, go ahead and start with that and get it up here. Take hold of your chair. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, woo, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight, right, twenty. <laughs> Getting off there. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. 30. Let's go ahead and keep it at that. I didn't realize how, how intense the 40 was going to be. I'm sure that's got your heart rate up nice. I'm going to go ahead and move your chair aside. That definitely got me out of breath. <laughs> Couldn't remember when I prepped to do this if I did 30 or 40. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead. Cool down. I'm gonna stretch down as far as you can go. You can get those legs real wide. Right here. 
Go ahead and try to drop that elbow if you can't and you're really pushing for it, that's fine. Let's get quicker. And then we're gonna go to the other side. You're going to, if you can, try to hold those legs as straight as possible and just hold it here. My head's not completely on the ground. All right. What you can do is you can bend your knees, jump those feet together, hold those toes if you can. If you can't, go for the ankles. If you're not there yet, go ahead and go for your shins. And just relax into in this, in this. And then you're going to roll up. All right. We're going to bring those legs apart. And then we're going to bend to the side. Go ahead and do it again. we're going to do is I'm going to bring this down just a tad bit. So be just a second guys. All right. So hopefully you can see me just fine down here. Okay. Some of the stuff I'm going to have us do is um, try to touch the toes, keeping those legs as straight as you can. If you can't keep them straight and just hold on to the ankles. And do that. And you bend one leg back. Go ahead and go for one foot and straighten that leg out as much as you can. It's good for the shoulders, the back, and all of your leg. And then switch sides. Make sure you're bending that toe back. You didn't see that before. I'm bending my toe completely back. Let me go get a better view. Just like this. Okay. Next. What we're going to do is going to turn this way, put those legs in just like this. Now if you can't go all the way down, that's fine. Try to reach out as far as you can and just relax into it. Even put the elbows down if you can't do anything else. The goal is to be able to get your chin all the way down. This is very good for the back and you're stretching all the inside of your thighs, all the backs and the inside. You come up. All right. Go ahead. I want you to get those legs out, keep them straight. And now what we're going to do is grab onto the toes. And just hold that for a second. You're going to be push, pushing out with your chin. All right. Go ahead and sit up. There's one you can do. It's really good for your chest, shoulders. You just kind of slide a little bit forward and lift that chest. It's going to stretch out all your arms, all your shoulders, and open up your chest. And you can come up and forward. And that's it for the workout. We're done. If you made it through it, congrats. You did a really good job. And I hope you stay tuned for more. I really enjoy doing this. This is fun. It helps keep me motivated. It keeps me on top of things. And I'll have another video soon. You have a great day.